Guys, I'm Paul the Mortar Guy. Now in this video, I'm gonna cover the six mistakes that riders make when they're practicing the figure eight exercise. And I will show you how to fix them. So hang tight. Now I think that the figure eight exercise is the bread and butter of all exercises. If done correctly, it allows you to work on the friction zone, throttle control, head turns and eye movement, counterweighting, and using the rear brake. Now, I've done videos covering each of these topics, and I'll leave links to the videos in the description below. So now let's talk about the six mistakes that riders make when they're practicing the figure eight exercise. Now, the first mistake is that riders tend to use too much speed or momentum to keep the motorcycle from falling. Now, by doing this, you're not really working on the friction zone. To correct this, you need to slow the motorcycle down in between your turns. Now this will force you to use the friction zone to keep the motorcycle from falling and not momentum. Now my speed when I'm doing slow speed maneuvers is around eight to 10 miles per hour. There are two things that keeps the motorcycle from falling. The first one is momentum. So if I'm riding down the highway at 60 miles per hour and I fall off my motorcycle, the motorcycle will continue to roll until it loses momentum and then it will fall over. And we've all seen those videos on YouTube. The second thing that keeps the motorcycle from falling when you don't have momentum says it's when you're doing slow speed maneuvers, is having power to the rear wheel. If you have power to the rear wheel by being in the friction zone, the motorcycle will not fall. Now, mistake number two is not being in the friction zone early enough. If a rider drops his bike during this exercise, it's usually here or here. This is because the rider is not in the friction zone when the bike is leaned over. Remember, prior to leaning the motorcycle, that's right, Prior to leaning the motorcycle, you already need to be in the friction zone. And I recommend you stand in the friction zone through the entire exercise. Now, mistake number three is improper head and eye movement. Many riders tend to look down at this cone as they're making the turn. When you're practicing this exercise, remember, you never want to look down. When you look down, it could cause you to ride the bike into the ground. So you want to keep your chin up. So if you don't want to look at those cones, then where do you look? When doing this exercise, you want to turn your head and look for the middle of the two pivot cones. No matter how far you have the cones apart, or how close you have them, you always want to look for the center of the two pivot cones. Now, mistake number four is that riders tend to have a slow head turn, which causes for a wide turn. Remember, this is because the handlebars tend to follow your head and your eyes. So your head turns need to be what I call quick and precise. And you need to actively look where you want to go. Now, mistake number five is leaning with the motorcycle. When you're doing this exercise, you want to use a counterweighting technique. Counterweighting is when you keep your body upright and allow the motorcycle to lean underneath you like in this next video. Now you can have a little bit of hip movement to the high side of the motorcycle, but you don't need a lot. Now by keeping your eyes level with the horizon, it will take away a lot of the sensation of falling, which is huge. Now mistake number six is not covering the rear brake. When doing slow speed maneuvers, Riders tend to ride with their right foot on the floorboard or on the foot peg. Then when they feel the need to slow down, they move it over to the brake. There are two problems with this. Now the first problem is that as you're taking your foot from the floorboard or the foot peg to the rear brake pedal, you're taking up space, which makes for a wide turn. The second problem is that sometimes it will cause you to want to jam on that rear brake pedal, which will make the motorcycle come up out of the lean, which you don't want. And now I'm gonna show you how this exercise is done. But first I'm gonna walk through it and then I'm gonna ride it for you. Now I'm gonna start on the right side of this first pivot cone. Now when I'm ready to start my left turn, I will turn my head and look for the middle. Once I make my left turn, I will cross over the middle, bring the bike upright, and then slow the motorcycle down to set up for my right turn. Once I'm ready to make my right turn, I will turn my head and again look for the middle. Now I'm going to repeat this until I exit the exercise.
For the first demo, I will have the two pivot cones 50 feet apart so I can demonstrate how you slow the motorcycle down in between your turns. And for my second demo, I will have the two pivot cones 15 feet apart. That way you can see how the exercise looks as you move the cones closer together. As I'm riding this exercise, I want you to watch for all the tips I gave earlier in this video. Now this exercise is done in first gear. So now let's head outside and ride this thing. As I'm riding to my first pivot cone, I am already in the friction zone. Look how early I turn my head looking for the middle. Now also notice how I'm using the counterweighting technique. My body is upright and the motorcycle is leaning underneath me. Once you're able to complete this exercise at a certain distance, move the cones closer together. You always want to be challenging yourself. Now I recommend you watching this playlist of other videos I did on the figure eight exercise. Now until next time, you got it. Practice, practice, practice and ride safe.